Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Crewcast, a late night podcast with the boys. I'm James McManus here with Blaze Russo and Austin Jones. How are you guys doing tonight? Doing well. How about you? Pretty good. I'm good. I'm good. All right. So tonight we're going to be talking about Inquiry One, which is about the land and our last hangout. And like, I kind of wanted to set up uh, the groundwork of like what our relationship was like coming in. So how were you guys feeling as friends before we even did this? Um. So I can take this one. Um, we became friends, uh, I think like uh, like a year and a half, or maybe two years before the land, roughly, um, through a mutual friend. And we actually met, I know, for the first time over Xbox. And then through our musical uh, experience, uh, we became closer and closer. And then started playing Xbox more and that's uh, I think that's where our friendship really uh, came together as a as a solid bond that it was going into the land yeah I mean I, I definitely agree like I feel like because you're obviously like two years younger than us but like my junior year I definitely feel like I knew who you were and I feel like we were pretty chill with each other but like I feel like over the summer going into senior year like I definitely got to know you better through Xbox and then, like, through the play, you and I talked a lot more, like, whether it be about girls, the play, school, stuff like that. And then, progressively, like, our friendship just grew throughout senior year. And, like, obviously, I've known Blaze since freshman year of high school. But, like, the addition of Austin and, like, just our little pack of people, I think, cemented, like, what our friendship was going in to college. So, as we, like, obviously got together, like, when did the LAN idea come together? Um, I'm not sure, like the the exact time it came together. I remember, I remember, um, like talking about it all the time, and then like kept bringing it up, like, "Oh, we're gonna do it, we're gonna do it, we're gonna," and we just like didn't do it for the longest time. Um, Austin, do you remember? Yeah, it was a, it was an idea that uh, had all. It seemed to just always exist, you know. Um, I think I remember there was a time when I was talking um, with another group of friends about uh, Black Ops 2 Zombies and we wanted to do like a get together where we would play that and have like multiple teams competing for highest round or Easter egg or something like that and that fell through and never happened but I think it kind of gave us the idea that like that is something that we could do like something along the line like a land party is something that we could do something that i think we'd want to do so it's just a matter of where and when which took a while yeah i mean definitely like around friends it circulated and stuff but like i feel since gaming was a huge part of our group it was kind of destined for us to do it and eventually i think we just like everyone we all wanted to do a land at some point and all it really just kind of lined up that like we all wanted to do it and we're kind of best friends and like it seemed perfect and it seemed like a perfect way to end stuff so like coming in do you, did you guys like have any thoughts about this being like the last hangout was like there an expectation of the land like being this ultimate hangout or is it just more about the land and being together i never like went into it thinking like oh man this is gonna be like the last time we see each other for a long time i was mostly just like excited for the night and like um, just like what was to come and I tried to like kind of avoid thinking about that because I knew like once I did that then like the mood would shift and it wouldn't be as fun anymore I guess um, so for me that kind of wasn't really really a thought in my head yeah for me um, I would say it's realistically I probably had that thought maybe for it um at least like once but really going into it i was not thinking like oh this is our last time together at all like i was just looking forward to what would come of it like how much fun we'd have what we'd do um so i wasn't really thinking oh this is our last time i was i was more like i can't believe this is actually happening we've been planning it for so long and i was just crazy excited to get it kicked off yeah, I mean, I, I was definitely, like, I think I looked more towards the land than, like, having to say goodbye because, like, 
I mean, Lana, I was just so excited to do something like so crazy with you guys, and like I just was looking forward to like a LAN party with my best friend, and I think it was always in the back of my mind, like, hey, you're gonna have to say goodbye at the end of this, but like, I I just wanted to focus on the moment more than what was to come, you know. I th I feel like finally, like we finally arranged everything. We set the dates. We all like told our girlfriends, hey, this is what we're doing this day. Everyone's family, hey, I'm here, I'm set. So like, we're finally there, Austin shows up, we get them all set up, finally Blaze arrives, and like, we're building Legos, and like, what, what were your guys' <laughs> first ideas when we all got there? Like, was there a set, like, idea, because obviously, we're known for Wendy's, was there like, an idea of living up, like, the last year and a half, and like, kind of living some moments again? Um, I, uh, I mean, I think we had uh, talked about, like, oh, we want to play this game then, and we want to play this game then. And I was, I kind of got the idea, like, oh, I want to do a snack run, because, you know, snack runs that were super cool or whatever. But getting there and um, setting up, it was just it was just so exciting. And we really didn't stick to our plan strictly. We just kind of went with the flow, which I thought just worked wonderfully. Um, so there wasn't certain things that I was looking forward to. It was just doing what this group does, you know, play Xbox, hang out, doing it it's uninterrupted, just, you know, completely free, um, doing it together. Yeah, I, I had a rough, like, I think we all kind of had a rough, like, outline of what we were going to do. Um, just kind of like things that were like, yeah, we gotta, we gotta make sure this is somewhere in the night, but we didn't like have it hour for hour, you know, like what we're gonna do and when. Um, and I think like that was the perfect setup. It's just like have some ideas, but whatever the night takes us is where we go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I definitely agree. Like, I definitely want to do like a nug run or something like that to get some food at like some point, probably for lunch. <laughs> and like, I knew kind of like which games we might play, but like, I didn't have like an outline hour by hour like 1 p.m grand theft auto 2 p.m sea of thieves right, right, right it was kind of like the vibes is like where that kind of took like the night away you know mm -hmm. kind of with that like not having a schedule like was playing games our most important part or was like being there together and being in the moment the more like important part please you want to go first yeah, yeah. I would say, um, like, although playing games is kind of like what brought us together, like that's the purpose of of a LAN. Um, that was like not the, the main focus of the night, and that like the only thing that made it fun is definitely like being there and being together and just like spending time with each other, even if like we were playing games or whatever. Um, and I think just having like each other two feet away from 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 yourself it was just like such a cool experience like with whatever we were doing whether it's like doing the legos or or uh, just playing games it was just it was the purpose of it was to be together right right and um i would say from my point of view like it's a land party you're playing games you know we didn't have just any normal sleepover like there was a focus like we gotta bring the games but i don't think that was really made it as special as it did i think us being together made it so special because you know we play games you know, every weekend but we're not you know doing big things about every weekend you know the land was just so special because it was what we usually do and just being together it was just it was like a, a beautiful combination it was just perfect yeah, I think just, like, taking, like, that normal thing we were doing and, like, being together in that moment. Because, obviously, like, being online and playing games is a lot of fun. I think that's some of our best moments. But, like, being two feet away, like Blaze said, like, that just, like, amped it up a lot. And, like, yeah, you it could, was enhanced. the emotions Absolutely. and, like, all everything was just, like, t times ten. Because, like, we are uh, just joking around, but, like, this time we could interact with each other. Like, mm -hmm. it was, like, it was a lot more fun. Yeah, it was a good yeah. energy we took 
from online and then like multiply it being in the same time. Right. Yeah, it was, it was like, um, I was about to talk about it. It was like combining the energy we have online with the energy we have when we're hanging out in person. It was just, right. it was crazy high spirit and that's what made it so much fun. Mm-hmm. But obviously like around eight o'clock, like we're all kind of again exhausted. <laughs> like we've been sitting down and we've been moving around, joking around. And like, I, I, I think we all kind of agree, like, not a drag fell over the room, but something like said, I'm a little tired, I need something to freshen me. So like, Austin comes up with, let's go see a movie <laughs> called Hobbs and Shaw. And we're, like, I, I don't think any of us are diehard Fast and Furious fans, but like, obviously, as Austin says, it's a movie that the plot's going to be so bad, but we can just joke about it the whole night and it'll live in our spirits. And I remember like, there was a coin toss, and you, <laughs> you said, "Heads we go, or tails we, we don't." Yeah, <laughs> and I you can, said, "All right, which one do you that. want?" Yeah, I, I flipped the, I flipped the coin, and it was heads, which meant we were supposed to go. But instead of saying it was heads, I'm like, "Which one do you guys want?" Um, so with the movie, I thought that um, was there better things we could have done with their time because it was like a two and a half hour movie um probably yeah I would say there were better things we could have done um but I'm glad we did that because it got us out of the house and it kind of put a break in Xbox which we had been going at by that time for like a good like three or four hours um so I think it was a good break to get us out kind of get our energy going again and uh, I think the, the the best part about the movie is that once we got back to your house to continue, um, we wanted to play even more. We wanted to jump back into it more. And I think it kind of, the movie was a necessary break to present, uh, to prevent it from fizzling out throughout the night. Yeah, I, I completely agree with that. It was just like a really quick kind of um, refreshment to like, it was just something new. Even if it wasn't like the most fun movie or whatever, <laughs> we still had a good time like getting there and and then making fun of the shirts we were all wearing. <laughs> and, um, <clears throat> and yeah, like yeah. overall, I think it was a, it was a good decision to kind of get out. And yeah, I, I think something it, else. I definitely agree. I think it definitely like livened our spirits a little bit because, I mean, it. it <laughs> It was a crazy movie, and I think, like, just going there out of the house, it, it, it freshened us up a little bit. Like, we kind of off then, like, off for, like, 2.30 in the morning, like, run to 7-Eleven and McDonald's. Like, was there this attitude of, I can't let, or, like, I don't want this night to end? Like, because you're having so much fun, or maybe because you know what it meant? Um, I think it was... It was less of, like, I don't want this night to end because, like, then it'll end and, like, we'll have to move on. I think it was more, like, we're just having such a good time that, like, we want to keep keep going with that and, like, keep pushing it as far as we could. Um, and it was, yeah, it was, like, the thought of this being the last time and, like, us having to leave wasn't super present it was more just like this is such a good time like how else can we keep it going yeah with the uh the nug run and the uh 7-eleven uh added some adventure to it um some shady figures at 7-eleven <laughs> and some questionable boys at McDonald's. <laughs> um it added some experience to it that uh i just added to the whole thing um because, you know, that way they get to say, well, we didn't land. But we also went to McDonald's and 7-Eleven at unmanly, like, unhumanly hours of the night. Um, as for the night ending, um, I did not want it to end, but it was not because I feared, like, oh, this is going to be our last time hanging out. It was just because of how much fun I was having. And it wasn't even because I wanted more time because it felt like, oh, I haven't had enough fun that night. I definitely had. It was just I was having so much fun that I just wanted more and more time to continue it. Right. Like I, I definitely agree with you there, because like 
like Atlanta is a great story, but like the fact that we were doing a lot of out of it too, like 3 a.m. nug run at, with some <laughs> sketchy figures where we're going to tell stories about how we almost ran into some, <laughs> I don't even know what was going yeah. on. <laughs> some people, some people. <laughs> some people. Uh, but then like, like I didn't want the night to end and I, I think I was more focused on at that moment, like, like Austin said, I was having so much fun. It's not like I didn't have enough fun, but like, when I'm having that much fun, like, I don't want the event to end, and, like, right. it was just such a good moment, and I was just caught up in it. Well, then, like, obviously, I think it was, like, 4.30 a.m., we, we start, that's when everything's just, like, all right, we're exhausted, well, like. We, yeah, we gotta we, do it bad. Yeah, and, like, so obviously, we put on, like, I think it was Anchorman, and, like, we're all sending, like, Austin oh, takes, like, the short couch, because he's zonked, and, like, Blaze and I send memes to each other for half an hour, and I'm just like, <laughs> dude, shut up, I'm trying to sleep. And then, yeah, but like waking up the next day was what, what was going through your guys' head? Yeah, I was, I was on um, tired, and I was like, we gotta go to bed at some point. Um, as late as we did, I was at point to go to bed. When I woke up, oh gosh, I don't know, time did we wake up? I think around 11 to noonish. Yeah, so. Yeah, we woke up around 11 and then, like, got up at, like. Yeah, that's what it was. We woke up at 11, got up at noon, which, when you think about it from 4 30 or in your case, you know, 5, that's that's several hours of sleep. So I was, I was pretty energized and um, I wasn't even thinking about leaving. I was ready to jump right back into it. How about you, Blair? Yeah. Or- for me, is basically the same thing. Um, I think I was up like a little before you guys, and then I was like, I had I had some of those thoughts of like, oh shoot, like this is this is the last bit of it. Like we have to leave. Um, but then, like once you guys got up, I was like, I don't feel any energy again. Like we can get right back into it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, I, I woke up, I'm like, I, I definitely wasn't the first person, I know that, and I'm like, I'm like, seeing people move around me, I'm like, I'm like, oh, dang, this is, I like, I genuinely thought at that moment, I'm like, it's over, like, land, like, I thought the land was ending, and I'm like, no, no, oh, no. I'm like, oh, I'm like, oh, oh, I'm not ready to feel this emotional, right, when I wake up, and then, like, I see you guys, I'm like, I like think Austin sits down at his Xbox. I'm like, wait. I'm like, wait. Is this not over? And then my my dad's like, are you up? I'm like, yeah. And he's like, you want some pizza? And I'm like, why not? <laughs> and like, we, <laughs> we then play video games for like five more hours. And I'm just like, whoa. <laughs> Did not expect this. But like, obviously, like I think we played see if we played Grand Theft Auto for a while, and then I think ended the game on Sea of Thieves. And I was I talked about this in my paper about like voting to Scottle and ending the voyage for that day. Mm-hmm. And, like, obviously, I think we all felt at peace at that moment, voting to Scuttle. I think voting to Scuttle the land. So, like, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for tuning in to the crew cast. Our sponsor is Wendy. Shout out to them. Go try their four for four today. It's a great sp- deal. Have a good one. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the crew cast. Thanks for our sponsors, Wendy's, for the four for four. Austin's obviously showing off. All right. So let's get right back into where we left off. So now we've voted to scuttle. We're all packing up. We're putting it in the cars. And like, I think everyone, everyone's packed up at this point and we're kind of just standing there. Like what's going through your guys' heads at this point? Gosh, um, I, I hardly remember. I just, um, we were kind of in the driveway and, uh, we were joking around for a while. I remember that much. That um, we definitely there was like a, there was like half the driveway was like uh, our serious stuff, and half of it was just joking around as if we were you know still at the land. So you know we were putting stuff in the cars, um, but I was just still having such a good time at the uh, you know such a jokeful and just you know goofing off time uh, at first in the driveway and then I opened my car door and that's when things started to get serious yeah I, I saw you open that car door and I'm like wait <laughs> no <laughs> and like uh, obviously like I think even before you did that I think we all like went around and hugged each other but like 
I don't even think that was like enough. I don't think we were ready to leave it at that yet, even. No, we were still ready. We were, we were ready to go back inside and have another night. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm pretty sure we talked about it. Like, I mean, we're good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, I think definitely if we didn't have any other obligations, everyone would have wanted to stay. Oh, absolutely. But, like, obviously, um, we're there and stuff, and, like, you open your car door, and then I'm like, this is it. But then you, like, turn around and give this speech of the gods of, like, how much, like, we've been through, how much we're going to go through. And, like, this is where I break all and then I got all balled up. And, like, this kid just... Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'll talk about that. So I, I saw, James, you were uh, <laughs> you were cracking first. You were showing it. I, I, could, I was showing so, it, but I wasn't crying. I could tell Blaze was a tough nut to crack. So I'm like, <laughs> all right, let me, let me go to work here. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I was... Uh, I was trying to, I was trying to stay strong. I was like, all right, we keep putting the jokes out there, you know. Like, <laughs> we'll hide it, you know. All right, so um, I came out with the uh, the speech about you know what our friendship meant to me and what we mean to each other, and um, I said that uh, this was the end of a voyage, but what comes with the end of every voyage is the promise of a new one and I said I don't know when this next voyage will be and I don't know where it be like where it will be and I don't know uh, when uh, but I know that it's going to happen uh, without a doubt sometime in the future it's going to happen and that's what I'm very glad <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. beach <laughs> like, you're, I, you're getting the water I remember just like starting to ball and then like I like I I think I like pretended to kick you and I was like whoa that was like, aggressive <laughs> and I'm like you can't do that to me man I can't I'm not ready for this and like I just remember like I'm like I gotta get more hugs and I think we hug again and then we do a group hug and like I think eventually that was finally it and then after you guys left I remember I, I went into my house and like I went away from my family for a little bit and I just like need to catch myself for a few minutes but I, I want to know how are you guys feeling there well, we we had the whole time of like a drive back to <laughs> like 20 30 minutes or whatever it was um so i think i mean i remember i think i remember i was i was driving back and austin and i might have been like driving by each other uh -huh. um, i think we were i think we were <laughs> and we were like like making faces and stuff. I think I texted. I think I texted. And I was like, "You just had to say all that, didn't you?" <laughs> was like, yeah, I had to get the water work. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, but then I remember like getting home, and uh, then like that's when all of it was like hitting me. Like, uh, I think that was the last time for for quite some time, um, because I started school much later than like both of you. So, like, for me, I never had the thought of, like, ending and, like, school starting and summer being over. Um, but then, like, when I got home, I was like, that was, that's it. Like, that's probably the last bit of summer that um, I'm going to have. Right. Um, for me, well, I had, I had the longest drive. I had, like, a 40-minute drive. So during that time, I went through all five stages of grief. So I got home and I was like, all right, I accept it. I am ready to move on and find new friends. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. All right. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, uh, I, it didn't really hit me even during my speech that like it was really over until I started to drive away. And once I turned the corner and uh, I think place was a little bit ahead of me, and once I couldn't see his car or James or house, I was like, it kind of like hit me like, these are my best friends, and it's like that was our that was our last you know real time together, uh, in the environment that we became such close friends with because I knew like after this point things are going to be different. We're going to have college, we're going to have distance, we're going to have other obligations and you know stuff to worry about. Uh, but I think the land was uh, important, and this I might not even. I've realized this until much later that the land kind of matured our relationship it kind of got our friend group ready for college and it kind of 
um, uh, like brought that principle to our friend group that we don't know when the next voyage is going to be. We don't know where it's going to be, but we know that it's going to be eventually, you know, somehow. And so I think uh, that speech and really the whole night just kind of like got us prepared. All right, life moves on, times are changing. And so I, that didn't hit me until uh, much after, but driving away, I was, you know, I was crying. I missed it. It was such a good time. Yeah, I I definitely agree with you that it kind of matured us in a way. Like, I feel like without it, like, I think it would have been a lot more difficult of transition to college without, like, knowing, like, like, I obviously knew, I felt like in my heart, like, we'd stay friends, but, like, that land just kind of cemented, like, especially, like, leaving, and, like, we all, like... I mean, we're guys. We didn't, like, exactly go up to one another and say, this is what you mean to me all the time. But, like, finally being able to say that to one another and, like, leaving it in the air that, hey, how much we care about one another, I think that's definitely, like, matured us in a way where we were able to, like, accept what's about to come. And, I mean, obviously from there, we still consistently, like, play Xbox and, like, still constantly talk. So, like, how do you guys feel about, like, I mean, this is obviously, like, a different kind of journey in itself where, like, we have to adapt to our new friendship, and I just want to see how you guys are, what are you guys' thoughts on, like, our transition to college? So I think with, like, the transition um, into college, it's it's definitely been hard, obviously, because we're much further away. We're not just, like, a quick quick drive, I guess, uh, possibly, like, three hours away. (laughs) (laughs) But... I think, like, we're, we're able to text almost every day and um, get on Xbox when we can. And I think, like, just having that tool nowadays is, like, super helpful. Um, just because, like, it, it brings us together when we're so far apart. And I just think that's, that's like, almost been the key of it all, of, like, keeping it, keeping it as strong as it was just having that ability to like stay can stay as connected as like we once were right so um <clears throat> we kind of blaze was saying like uh like we stay in touch and it's because we want to you know we want to remain friends and i think uh, i think that xbox is still so special to us because it was what initially brought us together and it's you know a big part in what's you know keeping us together as friends because we'll still get on and we'll still laugh as if you're right next to me, you know, as if we're back at the land or something like that. Um, so I think uh, we stay in touch where it's like, you know, we're still we're still a crew, we're still a group of friends. And so obviously it's, it's much harder not being right next to each other. And for me, having you two leave school um, was adjustment to get used to and I'm still getting used to it. Um, but we we keep in touch where it feels like oh yeah we'll be back and you guys will be in a couple of weeks or so right I, I definitely agree we, like those first weeks of college like I obviously had friends here and stuff but like I kind I think I talked to you about this Austin one time on the Xbox but like just like being in the hall sometimes and, like seeing your face that was like a big part of my day and like <laughs> not having that anymore was definitely like an adjustment where I didn't even though like yes you are probably an hour away from my house but like that <laughs> constant seeing you every day that was definitely a loss in my life but like I mean obviously I'm happy here and I feel like we're all happy with stuff but like we're definitely losing we lost I don't know so I mean but I still feel like our friendship it grew in a way where we know we're at least going to get one text every other day or even every day and like we know there's probably going to be at least one day on xbox where we spent a few hours just joking around i feel like we've kind of matured in a way where we've accepted that and like that's how our friendship has grown and i i think that's a really good thing and yeah right we've matured so that we accepted uh, the distance and we've matured that we don't care about the distance and we're like no screw it we can still be friends right we are yeah it's like it's not even there Right. It doesn't even affect us. I think that's a great way to finish things off. And uh, 
I want to thank everyone for coming out to the crew cast tonight. Thank you guys for joining me. I really thank appreciate you for, it. for having me. Of course. All right, so this has been the crew cast. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for tuning in. We hope to see you soon, and have a good one.